Hi, I'm Jonathan Wild, and in this segment, we cover DuPont analysis. DuPont analysis is used to get a more detailed understanding of what's driving a company's return on equity by breaking down the ratio into three fundamental components, profit margin, asset turnover, and leverage. Profit margin measures a company's operating efficiency and shows us the amount of net income being generated from each dollar of sales. Asset turnover tells us how well a company is using its assets to generate net sales. And leverage measures how much a company finances its assets through liabilities. Now let's put DuPont analysis into practice using an example. So assume a company reports net income of 30,000, net sales of 300,000, average total assets of 200,000, and average stockholders' equity of 100,000. First, profit margin is computed as net income divided by net sales. So we take net income of 30,000 and divide by net sales of 300,000 to get a profit margin of 0.1 or 10%. Next, asset turnover is computed as net sales divided by average total assets. So we take net sales of 300,000 and divide by average total assets of 200,000 to get an asset turnover of 1.5. After that, leverage is computed as average total assets divided by average stockholders' equity. So we take average total assets of 200,000 and divide by average stockholders' equity of 100,000 to get leverage of two. Finally, to calculate our return on equity, we can take profit margin of 10% multiplied by asset turnover of 1.5 multiplied by leverage of two. This gets us a return on equity of 0.3, or 30%. You could also compute return on equity as net income of 30,000, divided by average stockholders' equity of 100,000 to also get 0.3, or 30%. Now, let's compare this to a competitor. And we see that our company has a higher return on equity suggesting our company is more effectively using equity to generate profits. Now, when breaking down the ratio into different components using DuPont, we see that our company has a lower profit margin and lower asset turnover, which is not preferable. We do see, however, that our company has a higher leverage than the competitor. This means that our company has taken a more aggressive approach to financing, which seems to be paying off with a higher return on equity. However, higher leverage means our company also has a potentially higher risk due to the obligation to repay debt, even during turbulent times. The competitor with a lower leverage faces less risk, but also might be missing out on potentially higher returns. So next time you're evaluating a company's return on equity, Consider breaking it down into components using DuPont analysis to get a more comprehensive view of the company's performance, efficiency, and risk.